Hi everyone and uh, welcome to this video. On this video I'm gonna talk about my Templar build I use for solo bosses, solo dungeons and also solo grinding. So first skill, uh, so first of all here I use one hand and shield all the time for doing quests as my main weapon and the restoration staff as my second weapon. But for this build I use the restoration staff as my main weapon and the restoration staff also as my second weapon. The reason why uh, I like the passives, one of them is Cycle of Life, restore an additional 30% of magicka when you complete an heavy attack. So when I run out of magicka completely, I use this skill, it gives me 2439 of magicka. Another passive I like is Restoration Master, increases healing with Restoration Staff spells by 5%. Another skill I like is Siphon Spirit. So uh, first here, first skill I have is Siphon Spirit, bind an enemy with your staff's power and siphon life to you and nearby allies. Each attack against enemy restore health and 1% of magicka. For you the healing effects increase by 150%. So I use this skill on the target and every time I hit the target I restore health and magicka. This skill is great to keep your health and your magic up. Uh, it's also good because uh, bosses they have a very high health so you gonna run out of magic fast so this skill keeps your, your magic up. The 1% there you may think that's not so much but it really helps uh, for you not to spend so much magic and the 1% gives to my player 239 39 of magic. This skill is also good because have a long duration so which means I don't need to cast all the time and it also have a very low cost of magic. Uh, another skill I'm using here is Unstoppable Intensify your physical presence to gain major resolve and major ward, increase armor and spell resistance by 15 seconds. Also grants you the immunity to knock back and disabling effects for 5 seconds. Effects duration is increased for each piece of heavy armor equipped. Current bonus is 10%. So uh, this is a very useful uh, tanking skill. Uh, players use for tanking and uh, also PvP. It's also great because it gives me some defense for armor and spare resistance. At the same time, it gives me immunity to knockbacks and stuns. So, why I'm using this skill? Uh, knockbacks and stuns are not gonna work on me. So, it's also great for PvP because many PvP players they're gonna try to use knockbacks and stuns on you. Uh, so why you are using it's not gonna work. It's also good because this skill it has stamina cost, so I don't spend so much magic. Another skill I'm using here is puncturing sweep, launch and a relentless assault, striking enemies in front of you four times with your Aedric spear and dealing magic damage with each strike. The nearest enemy takes 140% additional damage and is knocked back on the last hit. Also heals you for 40% of the damage done. So uh, every time I hit the enemy with this skill, I also get heals from it. It's great to get, uh, gives you a lot of survival. And uh, another good thing about this skill is because you can hit uh, multiple targets, uh, three to four targets. And as you are hitting four targets, you also get more heals. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use those first three skills. Uh, you just choose one target to use the Siphon Spirit skill. Use Unstoppable to give you a little bit defense and Puncture Sweep. So I can hit multiple targets. I'm also getting a lot of heals. My health bar keeps up all the time. Now I'm gonna let them hit me a little bit. And you, you guys are gonna see how fast my health bar goes up. So I don't need to stop to heal, I don't need to stop to block. So uh, another thing is something very important I want to tell you guys. 
is uh, for dungeons, solo dungeons, solo grading. Uh, uh, players most of the time they they stack a lot of magic. If you can see on my left hand side bar, my magic bar, I have twenty three thousand and forty of magic. Uh, so it's it's better for you to have more magic than health. Uh, this I have twenty three thousand forty, including food. So I'm using also food, so it works better this way. So the other skills I'm using here is blazing shield. Surround yourself with a solar shield that absorbs damage equal to 30% of your max health. Uh, each nearby enemy increases the shield strength by, by 4%. Uh, nearby enemies takes 43% of the damage absorbed when the shield expires. So uh, this skill is great when there are many targets enemies around you. So use this skill. This this shield gets way much stronger. So and when it expires, it will damage to all the names around you it's very well and it gives you it absorb damage against physical attacks bow attacks and also magic attacks uh, another skill i'm using is breath of life share your inner light with an uh, wounded ally to to heal uh, health also heals up to two uh, nearby allies for half of it uh, the ultimate I'm using are using solar disturbance, cool down a fragment of the sun to deal magic damage each second to enemies in the target area and reduce the damage from their attacks by 30%. Also reduce enemy movement speed by 65%. An ally can activate supernova dealing magic damage to all enemies in the area and stunning them for 2.5 seconds. Uh, I use this skill and uh, I like this skill because I lose more for PvP. So when you cast this skill, uh, it's great because it reduces the movement speed. So PvP players, when they see you cast this skill, they're gonna try to run away. And this skill works well because it uh, reduces the movement speed, they cannot run away. So for bosses, uh, I do a little different. Uh, I use this skill. Siphon Spirit to gain magic and health, and I also dis use this skill, Channel Focus, to gain magic. Uh, so I use those two skills, Channel Focus and Siphon Spirit, to build my magic so I don't run out of magic so fast. Uh, Channel Focus here creates a rune of celestial protection to gain major resolve and major ward, increase armor and spell resistance. If you leave the rune vicinity, the effect dissipate after 8 seconds. While you're near the rune, you also recover 120 magic every 0.5 seconds. So this skill also helps me uh, helps me to build my magic a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys how this skill works here. So you cast this, this skill. If you look on my left hand side of the bar, every 0.5 seconds, 120, 120, 120. If you come out of the target area, this skill, this skill still works on you for 8 seconds, which is great. Uh, another skill I also use is Purifying Ritual, exalt in the sacred light of the, the Aedra to cleanse up to 5 harmful effects from yourself and heal nearby allies every 2 seconds for 12 seconds. Allies can also activate Purifying, removing harmful effects from themselves, healing themselves from additional. Uh, so I use also this skill to give me some healings. Uh, this skill also great have a 12 seconds duration. Uh, you can see that those two skills that I also use, I have them on my second bar. But uh, you know, for bosses, I don't like to change bar because uh, it takes a bit long. So I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna put them here. On my main bar so I can cast them faster so uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this skill for wood bosses this is the end of the video uh, thanks for watching the video and have a good week